These are my three personal secret attacks that I like to do from cross side. Hopefully you can use them. Boom! Hey everybody, uh, Warrior Jiu Jitsu, Team Gustavo Machado, um, Bobby Wilson, and this is my student Dale. He's going to be helping me out today. He's a black belt in Kempo Jitsu Karate, a uh, blue belt up under Gustavo Machado, and a police officer. So he keeps us safe and everything. So I do, a, I do appreciate him. I appreciate everything they do. So he's going to be helping me out today. I'm going to do three of my favorite cross side submissions. These are the three that I go for on everybody i try everywhere i go to train i try these attacks and the number one i always do is the americana i love the americana any position i try to attack it even from the non-standard position so the first thing we're going to do is the americana so mr dale lay down right here all right and so we have a couple of slide back this way a little bit mr dale slide that way a little bit more right there perfect now so what you see, we have a big, thick guy. So sometimes we can do the Americana with the arm around the neck, and then there's gonna be times where I have to take the Americana out from around the neck. So what I'm going to do to set up this Americana is I'm in here, I'm playing that cross side. I'm gonna sit here, if he has a gi, I can grab the cloth, all right? And I have a little shoulder action. I'm gonna slide my hand up just like I'm going like this, and I'm gonna use my head and push it down, and I'm gonna feed it to my other hand. Now I have to make sure that I'm not blocking his wrist. Now he's a little bit bigger guy. I'm doing it right now with my head up because I'm talking. Normally I'd have my face down. And sometimes when it's a big guy, it's hard to get that arm under. Smaller guys, you can get the arm under and attack. So I'm gonna have to let the arm out. I would just let the arm pop out. And as I do, I shove it forward, walk my fingers, and now I have a motorcycle grip. All I've got to do is motorcycle, motorcycle, and draw the line. And the whole time I'm doing that though is I bury my head to keep everything contained. So again, I'm here and cross side. I'm getting my grips. If it's no gi, I'm just patting him on the shoulder. I'm feeding this arm down. The head is down. I'm making the connection. I'm keeping my head tight. I'm having this arm ready. I shove it out with my head is down and then I get my grip. I have my head down, I have my motorcycle, motorcycle, my head is down, my knee is touching, I'm driving with this elbow, and now I'm going to draw the line with that pencil. There's a pencil lead in the back of his hand. And I draw the line, and he taps. As long as I do that motorcycle grip, it's tight. Because what I'm going to show you guys is if I do the chain link fence, he can pull his arm out. If I do the grappler's hook, if I just have it normal like this, go ahead and pull it out. He can still pull it out. But if I do the motorcycle grip, now pull it out. Ah, it's a little bit harder. But then when I have my other arm in there, and both of them motorcycle, motorcycle, and I bury my hand, pull the arm out, Mr. Bell? No. Then I just crank and draw. So that's number one. That's the one I like to do from cross side, from mount, sometimes from in the guard or from they're in my guard. Number two is, I call it a vice grip. So what I'm doing is I'm still simulating the same setup. When I go for the arm, he's gonna pat me on the back because he's scared that I'm going for it. That's what I want. What I'm going to do now is my hand's gonna cut right here. And as I go, I'm gonna take this elbow and I'm gonna drive it in real quick to make him turn sideways as I pop my arm out from around his head. So I turn and I pop him sideways. Then I can put my hand on his head, slide my knee in, step my knee over, and I vice grip my knees and I just touch my feet in back. I can go for the Kimura like I'm faking a Kimura, but I'm not. I'm just gonna hug his arm and I'm going to lay flat, taking him to his back. As you notice, my legs are like this. I'm going to straighten my legs out and then notice I cross my ankles, and now I'm going to extend my feet forward as I arch back, and I get the tap. I call that my little vice grip. So we're here like this. 
I'm hanging out. I'm controlling. I'm making them bait. Ugh. And for you armbar spinners, you got your armbar from here if you want that. I don't want the armbar. I want the little bit meaner option. So from here, I'm going to put my hand, I'm going to find his uh, armpit. And when I go for the armpit, I slide my knee back a little bit, shove my elbow in. Then I'm going to step over, knee down, squeeze my knees together, touch my feet, sit up, act like I'm going for the Kimura. And then I'm just going to drop off to the side. Notice my feet, look. Then I cross my ankles, lock the door, and then I extend slowly and arch back. One, two, he, ah, cup, turn him sideways, step over, step over, vice grip, touch the feet, arch, cross, extend. Vice grip. Third option. Here's you guys from the bottom. So Mr. Dale's going to sit up. I call this the Frank Mirlock. I watched this for the first time on the UFC. So he's here like this. See, normally if I do this, he's going to do a spinning arm bar. He's going to do that. You see, I'm supposed to have my arm in here, but I'm playing, I'm playing something else. I'm putting my arm on my belly. I'm grabbing my gi if I can, or my belt, or I'm just holding. And what I'm doing is I'm turning, making him think he's going for it, and he's going to pull his arm out. So as he does, I catch it, I put my hand on the palm here, I bring this arm in, I catch my hands, throw the leg on the back and notice his face, and then I just look back and I crank. So this is a nice one. So he caught me. I'm not going to pat him on the back telling him, hey, take my arm. I'm going to do something to make him think I'm trying to attack. Ah, see what he does? See what he does? He's trying to set me up for that other option, but I beat him to the punch. My hand goes on his hip so I can shrimp out, put my knee in, create space, grab my fingers, hook, and crank back. And I'm doing that, not right now, but I'm doing that in a fast motion. Because he's, oh, uh, I can't give him. So I'm trying to make him think, oh, I'm going to go for that arm. Ah, oh, I got it. See? Knee in. I can even do this where I got it here, here, crank. Nice. So there, that was our three options right there. So I don't just wave here, Mr. Dale. So we got the first one where we do the Americana. You have your two options. If the guy is big and thick, it may be hard to do it from around the neck. So I just pop it out and I go from the arm out and but the motorcycle hook. Motorcycle, motorcycle, bury your head. Then the second one, which is the vice grip. That's my favorite of all three, the vice grip, where I'm setting him up, he pulls that arm, pats me on the back, and I do that spin out, and boom, I hit that vice grip. Work with that vice grip a few times. It could be mean, but hey, it's still a submission, it's still a tap out, right? Oh, yes, sir. And then the bottom one, like I said, back in the old UFC days when I first started my jiu-jitsu, I watched old Frank Mir get out there and do that submission, and man, I love that. And now no matter where I'm grappling, I try to hit it. I try, even if I get the finger, the hand, and I caught the wrist in the armpit, I do a lot of armpit grappling where I'm catching you. And if I can get a cow hook at the end, I'll get the cow hook. But those are my three favorite attacks from cross side. I hope you enjoy. I hope you can use them and put them to work, okay? Don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment, because we like comments, don't we? Yes, sir. We love to comment so we can see what we need to work on. And we're just having fun, just have fun, all right, and enjoy. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hey, get on the mat and train.